Your Honor, the Chair of BP8, the Secretary General, and your team, Your Excellency, my colleagues, Honorable Ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Malawi, allow me to bring greetings from the warm heart of Africa. Mr. Chairman, on this occasion of the 2018 Grand Potential Conference, PP18, let me start by congratulating the Chairman for your able leadership and tutelage. Let me thank the host, the government of the peoples of the United Arab Emirates for the warm and excellent hospitality according to me and the delegation since we arrived in this beautiful seat of Dubai. Let me also thank the ITU Secretary General, Mr. Holin Jiao, and his team for the excellent stewardship of our organization. And all member states present for the commitment shown so far to this conference. Distinct ladies and gentlemen, Malawi as a country recognized ICT as a key pillar for the economic development as evidenced by its inclusion in the My Growth Development Strategy and Mid-Term Strategy for Malawi and the enactment of the national ICT policy to guide the development of the sector. In view of the ITU development goals, Malawi has embraced all aspects of the ITU Connect 2020 vision and the targets include growth, inclusiveness, sustainability, innovation, and partnership. The following steps have been undertaken. One, Malawi reviewed the Communications Act of 2016 in each transaction and cybersecurity act at 2016, which will improve ICT utilization and access, as well as facilitating easier access to the Universal Service Fund, USF, as a sustainable financing source. Malawi is encouraging competition by, among others, implementing a convergent licensing framework which has introduced a work in licensing application in the sector. We are establishing the fiber backbone to connect to the submarine cables through the regional communication infrastructure project, RCIP Malawi, and the National Fiber Backbone Project. Distinct ladies and gentlemen, we are implementing the multipurpose community telecenter projects and other universal access projects, as well as the piloting of television white space technology as a way of providing ICT access to rural areas. In order to address the supply and demand gaps in the country's broadband network, Malawi has formulated a national broadband strategy and the cybersecurity strategy to guide the process. The country is implementing the digital migration project in, the, in, in line with the regional and global deadlines and the home harmonization of the digital dividends in order to facilitate social economic development of our country. And we are also championing financial inclusion through mobile money platforms. Mr. Chairman, these are just but a few among the many strategies which Malawi as a nation is pursuing to promote ICT development. It is therefore our considered view that the efforts being done by our, by our country will facilitate in bringing of the digital dividend in line with ITU Connect 2020 vision goals and targets. In conclusion, let me take this opportunity to thank ITU leadership for the support which it has rendered and is rendering to Malawi. The ITU experts assisted us in the development 
of the e-waste management strategy. And we are expecting experts in the month of November to conduct a cyber security training and assist in designing our national CERT, C-E-R-T. Lastly, on behalf of my delegation, I wish to express my gratitude to you, Mr. Chairman, for the able manner you are handling this conference. And I have no doubt that this will be a highly successful plant potential conference. And I wish you well for the rest of the conference. I thank you.